Let's study that how to calculate the permutations when there are identical items in the given choices. Before I can go to the formula, let's try to understand the problem. So let's say that I have three given choices A, then I have C and once again I have another C. So you see there are two identical items, there are two C's in the given choices. And my question is, how many permutations of size 3 can I make from these choices? So let's do it manually because it's necessary to understand what is the actual problem when there are identical items in the given choices because you can't use that simple form or to calculate the number of choices because you will see it later. Okay, so let's see how many permutations I can make from these three given choices and I will do it manually. So first is of course this one, let's assume. So A, C and C. And now let's see what is the next. The what is next is A. And then I can shift this green C here and blue C there. Then once again in the C, I can shift this green C here and then A and then blue C. I'm just making different permutations. The next I can write blue C here and then A is there and then I can make green C here. It's also a different permutation, right? And then the then I can shift, I can write this blue C and then I can move green C here and I can write A there, right? It's also a different permutation, right? And in another different arrangement, I can write C, green C here, blue C here and A. So how many permutations I have? One and then two, three, four, five and six. So I can make six permutation, right? Let's see. N, P, R and given choices are 3, so 3P and size of the permutation is also 3. Let's see what is the value of 3P3 and my calculator tells me that I can make only 6 such permutations or arrangement and actually I got already the 6 permutations. But now here is the point. Do you see the first permutation is ACC, right? And second is also ACC. So don't you think it is just the repetition of the first permutation? When we calculate the permutations, they are distinct permutations, right? Just because I wrote them with different colors, it doesn't mean they are different. I just wrote them in different colors so that you can see the difference. What am I doing? Because I just exchange the positions of the C. This is how we make different permutations, right? We change the positions, the relevant positions, and we make different and different permutations. But in this case, because two were identical, so I just chose a different color so that you can see. But actually, it is same. The first is ACC. The second is ACC. What's the difference? So this one is not required. It is just repetition of the first one. Okay, now come to this one. It is CAC, right? And then the next one is also CAC. What's the difference? Except the color because I just chose different colors to make you understand what am I doing. But it is actually CAC and CAC. What is the difference? It's the same permutation. So once again, this one is not required. Similarly, CCA and CCA, you can see the only difference is in the colors but right now color does not matter the color doesn't make them a different thing it is just to make you realize that 
how did I create different permutations, right? So, once again, this one is not required. So, it means something is wrong with our previous formula when we calculate the number of permutations from the given choices. This formula is not applicable when we have the given choices and there are identical items in the given choices. So, in that case, we have to use a different formula. And that formula is that when you have different permutation, uh, when you have uh, the given choices and there are identical items, you can use the formula. Uh, so here the C that the actual number of permutations are 3, not 6. So it feels like uh, the formula is same like N, T, R divided by uh, and then divided by there are two c's right so if i write all the permutations which i can make with c it means this is for all and then i will write n p r of the identical items So how can I do that? Let's see. So for n, p, r, all, it mean I it means that I have three choices, right? And size of the permutation is three. So I will write is three p three divided by now n, p, r for the own for only the identical items, and I have only two identical items which are c's, and of course I can make only a permutation of size. 2 at most so it should be 2p2 let's see what happens 3p3 3, 3p3 uh, 3 is 6 and then let me see what is the value of 2p2 it is 2 and then what is the answer 3 yes and actually i got three actual distinct permutations so it means i have to change my formula to a different one when there is a repetition of the given choices so first i will do the same classical formula npr for all the items and whatever is the size of the permutation but i will divide it with npr of the identical items only for the identical items okay so uh, let me extend this version so if suppose this you can extend this formula as well for example suppose you have the choices a c c and then you have d and d so you see there is a repetition of two c's and then two d's then what will you do you already have this formula that whatever the first you will write uh, you will write n p r of all for all the given choices and then you will divide it with n p r of the identical but now you have two sets of identical choices so you can give them a name identical one and then you will multiply it with n p r identical identical two because you can make a group of them here is the first set of identical items and here is the second set of identical items so you can extend this formula further for example if i now i want to calculate how many permutations i can make distinct permutation of course so you will use this formula now the total given items are one two three four and five so i am using this formula five p5 suppose size of the 
permutation is also 5. Now, I will calculate NPR for identical 1. This is my identical 1 set. So, it is 2P2. And then I will multiply it with my second set, which is also uh, its size is 2. So, it's 2P2. So, if I use my calculator, it tells me that 5 P5 equals 120 and then 2 P2 equals 2 of course this is also equal to, equals to 2 and then 120 divided by 4 equals 30 so you see so it doesn't matter how many identical sets of items you have you can just extend this formula further just keep multiplying and here of course you will get only one so actually these terms will reduce or in fact reduce the duplicate results and you will get the distinct permutations